Hey everyone, Mac is back, and today we're going to talk about badges. So let's get right to it. Click on your blacksmith, go into your inventory, and then go into your badge tab. And here, as you can see, are all the badges that uh, I have on this account. <clears throat> and as you can see, um, you have some common ones, you have some of the uncommon ones, and you have the, some of the rares in here as well um, for the uh, cavalry attack. Um, the first thing that you want to do is you want to take all of those badges off of your equipment. Um, for this example, I've taken all of the um, cavalry attack ones off and click on the, uh, the rare cav badge. And then what you want to do is you want to dismantle it. So you click on that dismantle button. Up here you dismantle it. Click over here. There's seven of them. I'm going to dismantle all of those. And then click over here one more time. Dismantle the rest of them or disassemble. And then you can click out of there and you can see I have 123 badges. And they are, um, if I click on one, they are 2% uh, cav attack. Now, to get the best, best benefit of your badges, um, there are two ways that you can combine them or assemble them, however you want to call it. Uh, first, the first thing you can do is you can assemble them in here, in this screen here, or you can go on to your, uh, on your equipment and uh, assemble it that way. I prefer more, more on the equipment, so that's where we're going to go. So here we are in the uh, in the in my fighting in the fighting gear that I have, and as you can see, I don't have any of the cav badges um, on here yet. Um, so what you want to do is click on one piece of your equipment, go down here to the plus sign, and then add one of those badges. Attach one of there. So <clears throat> you can see um, I got two percent attack on that one, and it only took one badge off. Um, now. What you're going to do, what you're going to want to do is that do that to every single one of your pieces of equipment. Okay, as you can see, I've attached the uh, just one single badge to, to every piece of equipment. So that's eight badges that you um, uh, that you can have. And at 2% for um, all of them, that's 16% total attack, or uh, not total attack, cav attack that you're going to get for those, those cav badges. Um, so now what you want to do is click back on that first one, click on the, the, the badge, and you'll see uh, an arrow here, meaning that you can, um, that you can uh, combine the badges you have. So you basically, everything is in the, uh, the amount of four times four. So four to the second power, four to the third power is how you want to look at that. So basically, since I have one badge here, I need a total of four to get to the next, um, to get to the, uh, the next level, which would be the uncommon uh, badge, which would take this 2% to a 3.75%. It doesn't completely double it. Um, and the reason that you're doing this instead of stacking all one badge, all the upgrading all the one only one badge on this uh, equipment, is you're going to get more of uh, the cav attack um, out of it. So you're going to want to click on here and then click the combine. And as you, can see, as you can see, it went up to 3.75. And it's also saying that I can do that again. However, you don't want to do that because now when it goes up, it'll go to 7.5%, uh, which <clears throat> in this case will be double um, uh, the previous one. As you can see, the infantry is um, at 7.5%. Uh, However, you want to do every single badge first before um, you want to upgrade them to that second level, to that uh, uncommon. So I'm going to do that now. So I've upgraded the CAV uh, badges to the second level or the uncommon level. And if you, you look here, you can see that there is a CAV attack of 3.75%, 3.75, and so on and so forth for every single one of these. So um, before it was 2% and times the 8 that we have, um, which was 16% uh, CAV attack. So now we just did one more extra um, level. And if you take uh, 3.75, times the eight badges that your eight uh, slots that you have, you come up with 30%. So we went from 16% to 30%. So we almost doubled the amount that we have um, uh, in reference to that. Now, the, um, sorry about that. And now the next level that you're gonna have is the um, 7.5. So once you upgrade to that, I, I don't have enough badges for that, but once you upgrade to the next, you'll have 7.5% times that eight slot and that'll take you up to 60 so that's where you you will get your double um your double attack on there which makes sense because you go from the 375 um to the seven and a half which is um twice as much so you if, as long as you have it on every single one of them
So just make sure that you take every single badge that you have and that you upgrade it individually. So if I go back into here, you can see I still have enough badges. There's 91 of them left. Um, so this next badge, when I increase it, if I say, if I combine it, boom, there you go. I still have I have still have 75 left. Um, but I took put it up to uh, seven and a half. So I'll go to the next one and um, continue to do this um, and to, until they are all uh, completely done. So that was one way to uh, assemble your badges. Now the another way to do it, and this one might actually be better. More that I think about uh, the more that I think about it is that so you have all your badges disassembled so I have 123 of the common badges so I know that I have eight slots that I can put them in my equipment so I need to combine these to get the the highest I can for the for eight badges so basically that means to click on your combine go down here at the bottom and I'm gonna combine the, all of them at the very beginning there we go now I have 30 of the um, the uncommon badges well I only have eight slots so I want to try to combine those again to get to um, the, the eight slots that I have, which is the best you can do. So I combine them again, it gives me to seven. So if I have seven, I'm actually, um, I need eight. So, this, these, so these slots, um, I don't wanna do this completely. What I wanna do is I see a seven here, I'll go to dismantle and I'll just, just not dissemble them all, but I will dismantle one of them. And then I'll go back to that. So this time, um, and actually that's probably not gonna work either because I'm still only gonna have, you're gonna have six badges here. Um, so if you keep those combined, let me go back to that, and you combine them all. So you'll have seven, actually this does work because you'll have seven of these uh, rare uh, quality ones and you'll have actually two of the um, uncommon ones. So you'll have seven and two because once, um, once you get another, what's gonna be here, another uh, five of the common badges, that'll be able to get two more of the uh, the uncommon, which will give you um, uh, one more of the rare. So I'm very, very, very close. Just need five more of those to make this t a total of eight. And then what you want to do is you uh, you want to go back to your equipment. And then once you get back there, then you just uh, attach your badges. So then you're going to attach that. And I'm just going to attach all of the uh, the rare ones first, since I have seven of them. Um, you go to just attach every single one. This is, see, this is a, a little bit faster way. It takes, um, just takes you to, I don't want to say a little bit more time. It takes less time to do it because you're not continually um, clicking on and off and upgrading them um, as I was doing before, but you're just clicking on all the rare one or the, the rare ones that you have. Um, so then at that, at that point you are, um, see, I just finished the last one. So now we only have one slot left. And if you click on it for that last slot, um, you're going to want to put in that last um, badge. It's only 375 instead of the 75. So you just attach that and th then you can disassemble the, the rest of these. So then when it's time to upgrade, then you can uh, take this one off or actually you could just upgrade it. It may just, it'll just let you do it from this screen here. So um, the best thing to do is just disassemble them in your blacksmith shop. Then when you get on here, once you have them already attached, just to upgrade them that way. So, um, so these are the ways, uh, the basic ways to, uh, to do that for your uh, equipment. Now, my recommendation is this is, or this is for a, um, this is for a general um, attack army setup. I have uh, just attack badges because they are the best, the attacks. So for the cav infantry and the spear, just make sure you put them all together so you have all three of them on there. There is a fourth slot on here. And to get that four slot, I'll show you where to get that. So you're in your Maester's Tower um, and you wanna go to the refinement and then go the, the entire way to the end of the refinement. Um, and that's where you'll find the badge master and that's where you'll get your final, it'll unlock that last badge slot. This is one of the best ways to, uh, uh, to help your army. Um, so you, can, you saw before they're all attack badges. Well, this is where you can put those health badges or those special badges that you can get um, and I will show you where to get those as well. Um, but these are just these, these are just some badges uh, as w that you're gonna. This is just a, a, a research that you're really gonna need. It's very very good, um, and it's very expensive too. Of course, it's 100 million uh, gold. You can see here 74, 24, and 46 million. For it's very very expensive, um, and I believe it's around 300 days over 300 days to actually get it, even with your uh, your uh, speed ups and your your research uh, gear on. So. Just something to think about. This is gonna it's gonna take a long time, but once you do finally get here, it's gonna be well worth it.
I also wanted to mention that there are other badges that you can get um, as well to put on that equipment for that f uh, four spot or if you want to substitute in for one of those other uh, attack badges as well. So in the War of the Kingdoms or the uh, Champion City Siege, there's a token, token shop and it's the same token shop for both. If you click on the token shop, you can see the different badges in here that you can you can acquire. Um, they are they're very good. They're they're smaller badges than um, than other uh, than the bad the previous badges. Because if I hover over here, you can see like first this one gives you only 1.05 spear attack uh, the percentage there instead of two percent for a, a common badge. Um, however, it also gives you the the added bonus of spear defense at one percent. So and technically. It is. Um, it has a different uh, value to it in, in that respect. Um, I would say these aren't as valuable as the other ones, uh, the other badges, um, but they do give you that extra bonus. So you get the. You could. These two badges are exactly the same. Um, you you get them for at the. Uh, uh, it's for this for this particular one would be for KVK. Um, you either kill troops or you have your or if your troops are killed and you get these coin these certain. Uh, uh, bravery tokens and these uh, battle tokens down here, and then you can use them to uh, to purchase these uh, different badges. And last but not least, I wanted to um, tie in the uh, some dragon uh, tokens that you can get here. To, you can put that that are more difficult to get. That are, are most likely going to be you're going to pay to get them. Um, you can get you know you can get some of these uh, ancient army skill fragments, um, but once you get enough of them, you can purchase the in the supply shop for the it used to be the uh, our, um, battle of the long night now it's the together in the winter which is the same thing um, but you have all these different types of dragon bad badges here there's uh, dragon skills I should say that you can put on so um, you can see they're very they're very they cost a lot they're very expensive you have the ones that are a hundred which are the basic ones the spear attack the infantry attack and the cab attack um, my suggestion would be to save up don't get these these attack ones here and the reason that I'm saying that is, like, for instance, spear attack is 20%. The um, the legendary spear attack is 16%. So you're only getting a 4% bonus if you try to just switch those out. Um, you're better off keeping that 16% and trying to get one of these other ones first. Um, and then even eventually trying to even replace all of those ones that you have on your dragon with these would be good too. Because if you just if you're looking at a, an army reinforcement skill. It gives you a total defense of 18, which you think, okay, well, that's not that great. But if you say, look at the bottom uh, portion there, and it says tempor temporarily increases the quantity of your own troops by 10% when you're entering combat. So when you get to a fight, you can get up an extra 60,000 troops just by having this badge on. Um, and you're going to get those 60,000 most likely because you're going to have a you know an army size over um, 600,000. So um, this is a, this is a really good one to have. It's the most expensive. Um, it probably, I don't know if it's the best one or not. Um, if you're a rally leader, this one is the, probably the best because you have the rally size um, increases by 410,000. And granted, these are max stats as well, so um, and they do take a little while to get there because um, they, they're, they, you know, they're ancient uh, or uh, what do they call them? They're ancient army skills um, that you so you're that you're putting on there. So, but I you know and once you get it maxed out, you can have 410,000 extra in your in your rally. So it's you can really, really do some damage with that, and then you have a few other ones here that uh, you know, army uh, anti counter skill. But you can look over these. Um, like I said, I suggest avoiding these ones, and then um, make sure that you, uh, you check out these other ones too. There's a heal effect here. This legion healing skill is really good too, where you have a 20% chance to heal 100% of your own wounded troops um, after a battle. So um, uh, basically, that that means that any of those wounded troops that you had will just be healed, so you won't they won't go to your hospital. You'll just automatically get them back, so you'll save all those healing all those healers, um, which is great. So I mean, the you what you this that's the max stats, of course. So you know, for instance, Stephen says it's a 10% chance of getting 50% back. That you know, healing that's still really really good. So that's another one that's um, that's worth get, worth getting too. And as you can see, the the other skills are all three cost 300, where the basic ones here are only 100. So um, I would I would suggest saving that up. So when you go into the um, uh, the keys here, get it, you get these keys, and then just try to get as many of these. You know, take your chances on them. If you don't get them, there are a lot of other good stuff in here as well, as you can see. So, um, but I just wanted to go over that for for those who uh, maybe didn't know about these or haven't even even considered uh, trying to get them. So, um, they're really worth it. It's just uh, 
takes patience and sometimes you know you need to have so many keys because if you look here you can give you 10 you get they give you an extra three but once you get to 50 they actually they automatically give you 30 of those uh, fragments um, then you get 30 keys then you get 100 fragments 80 keys and at the very end you get 120 fragments so if you can save up to 1200 which is clearly a lot and that's going to be very costly um, but if you could do that and obviously you're looking at 120 there um, now you're looking at 220 and you're looking at 250 so you can get 250 of those um, and then hopefully you're hit to get to um, another 50 and then once you do that that'll give you the 300 that you need for you know one of these 300 ones as well so um, but that's all that's all for the badges now um, so hopefully this uh, this will help you um, in the future Mac out